Phil with the Vilas Bucket YouTube channel. Uh, welcome to our video today. We're doing another weigh-in video. Um, if you recall, the just second generation bucket weighed in at 130 pounds, but uh, for this third generation bucket, we've added a new high dump bracket on the back of the bucket. Uh, these are steel plated brackets that um, give us additional dumping height that we didn't have before. Uh, with the second gen bucket. So uh, this enhances our, our capability to dump uh, from higher heights with the bucket. Uh, so that's going to add a little bit of weight to the bucket we suspect. We'll find out just how much um, when we go ahead and, and weigh this, this in. So um, just for those who have not uh, heard or seen about the, the bottomless bucket, uh, this is a high volume light material bucket that you can uh, affixed to your subcompact tractors. So either the John Deere or the Kubota subcompact tractors are ideal for this particular bucket. Um, even into the compact models, you can use this bucket as well. Um, so if you um, have those, one of those quick attach systems will deliver those brackets with the mating hardware designed for those particular um, quick attach systems. If you don't have a John Deere or a Kubota quick attach System. We can ship you these brackets uh, with just the, um, the mating hardware removed and you can weld on your own mating hardware for whatever tractor it is you're, you're going to need to use it for. So um, well, let's go ahead and, and weigh the, the, the bucket. Uh, I've got this, the scale up here, it's, it's at zero. Um, and we know from our last weigh-in video that the chains weigh about four and a half pounds. So, We'll subtract that when we when we get our weight in. So we'll go ahead and start lowering the bucket to get our weight. So down it comes. We're starting to get some weight on that chain. Now. So three, four, 10, 20, 50, 70, 80, 102 pounds, 108 pounds, 120. They are at 132 pounds, which is about where the old bucket weighed in. It was 130 pounds, actually. Uh, so there's 130 pounds, and we keep going here. Clear the table. And we're at 154.5 pounds. So let me just uh, put the camera up there so you can see that. So there it is, 154.5 pounds, which you take away the four and a half pounds um, for the chains. That uh, puts us in and around 150 pounds. So. Uh, not bad. Um, we didn't add a ton of weight to the to the bucket, uh, just another 20 pounds or so, and so that gives you an idea as to how much weight volume-wise you can put into this particular bucket um, based on the the weight capacity of your front end loader. So uh, we got uh, 600 pounds of pellets into this uh, into the second gen bucket. This obviously will be able to handle that. With only an additional 20 pounds on the fell, you should have no problems doing that same load uh, with this new bucket. Uh, so um, be aware that the bucket's on sale now on the website. So go ahead and in time for your spring cleanups, put in an order in, and we'll get that out to you in time for, for spring. Uh, and if you have any comments, leave them on the channel here, and certainly give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe, press that subscribe button. We'd love to hear from you. We're constantly putting up new videos and we'll be showing lots of new videos around use of this bucket and the different applications. As I mentioned, um, I use this, use this bucket more than my steel bucket by a, a large margin, so it's not even close. Uh, this is the bucket that's almost always on my tractor uh, in the summer and spring. So there you have it, uh, the weigh-in video. Thanks again and we'll talk to you soon.